Okay. So this is my mapping guide. Point one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Whatever. This is the first of many versions that I probably will take a while. Okay. So you want to learn how to map. Okay. You should know that you already fail since you're watching this video. But let's start with our first room. Draw a simple room. 120 by 120. In your grid area. Go into your GUI area. You see a box. This looks big enough for a person. Press hollow, the hollow button. Gasp! A room has appeared. Now you want to put spawn point. Info player deathmatch. Rotate a bit. There we go. Line that up. There. Perfect. Now. Now that you've had your spawn point created, you might want to add a little bit of some flare to your room. To select a surface, actually, first what we should do is caulk this whole room. So shift select every single brush. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go to test textures system. Let this load. Cork. Viola. Now, if you were to compile your video right now, it look like you're in the void, which is bad. So you might want to add a bit of flare to your room. So select the bottom face, like that, with control shift. Go to textures. And um, let's go with um, desert. I let this load. Yeah, this takes a while. So it looks like we're going to be making a desert theme map for this tutorial. Because I'm too lazy to load anything else. So let's go with uh, concrete floor dark. Gasp! The floor texture there! I didn't know that was there. Okay, now for the walls. Let's caulk, or let's change the texture to concrete wall. And for the piece de resistance, uh, let's have something that doesn't look ugly. No, no, no. Yeah, there. Now it looks like you caved in. Woo. And there is your first room. Yay! Now! This is the fun part. I'm going to be teaching you how to make a room connect to another room via a hallway. I know, this is so advanced. So, now, let's go out here. Let's maybe draw a little hallway. Yeah, let's go with this long. Should maybe go a bit shorter. Yeah, there we go. Win. Press the hollow button. Now, let's put this out.
Now, this is very hard because most mappers get this wrong. Press brush, CSG, subtract. That pretty much subtracted the wall that, that wall was covering. Now you can delete this wall. Oh, snap. That's bad. Anywho, let's select all the textures that would or all the brushes that will be connecting to the to the spawn point and move them on the grid area so they line up with this uh, the brush right here. Now you can press S and you get up oh, the surface inspector. Now type in system slash forward slash C A U L K. Press enter. You're now Kulk. Now it might be best to continue on with the textures. Select everything. Um go with the walk wall. Better yet, we can use some metal. Let's go with Top uh nah. Let's go with Rockwall, Rockwall, Sketo Top Grime. I want to retexture. Well, nah, you don't need to retexture that. It'll be deleted soon. Now you can make another room connected to this. Ignore that. That's the friend who I'm making this video for. Basically, there. Oh no! Shut up, you Connie. Press. Okay, you might want to caulk it again. System slash caulk. Now my computer's getting slow because it's taking up so much memory. Okay, so now press the hollow button again. Viola, your new room. You'd hurry this up. Press that. Move it so that's like that. Spus, brush, CSG, subtract, delete. Don't need to do the same thing. That. Oh no! And press undo, control C. There. Again, you might want to continue on with the textures, so. Select all the faces, that would be the walls. Concrete wall. Floor. And viola. With bitch match ceiling textures, you now have your basic room with a hallway connected to another room. Now save. Shut up! Now, save it, whatever you want. I'm going to save this as my map. Make sure it says quick 3 maps dot map. Processing done. And that was the